Sorry, I didn't have it on the right. There we go. Thank you. you want to press the right hand button to get the red light on. There we go. Um, hi. The the video is not going as I had hoped. Um, I had sent several emails to the family, not hearing any response contacted Brendan to see if she could, because she has the contact information that I don't have. And apparently Peggy is not speaking. She's She has ALS, advanced stages ALS, um, and she can no longer speak. So she's basically in hospice. Um, and Bob just has memory issues. So I, I just feel like it's kind of um, superfluous at this point to get a video with him in it, but there's a possibility that maybe we could do some video of the sculpture, get some older pictures, but I just don't want to trouble the family. And, and, and for them to pull old pictures even is difficult, so maybe I could write a voiceover or something like that, and we could just put something on with a video of it spinning and some close-ups or something like that and, and put it together, but I just it's just a really difficult time for the family, and I don't want to trouble them at all. Even the kids, <laughs> it just it's, it's hard. So, um, what about the woman who's uh, That's Revan. Yeah, she could she could speak on his behalf. We could um, do an interview with her, um, and I could have her do the voiceover or something like that if you wanted to do that. Well, that might be nice. Uh, I mean, she did a great job out here. Okay. You know, the explanation of how he does his work and, and that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah, I can make arrangements for that. Um, I, it just, yeah, it's been kind of sad. <laughs> so, I think it started actually this summer, so she, she just is not, no longer verbal. So. Okay. Alright. But I can do sort of a substitute piece that won't involve the artist. So it'll almost like be a um, almost like a biography video for him. Right. And it's really just informational. So yeah. anybody any information in a video would be I think really nice for okay. anybody looking at the piece. Okay. It's Revan, like we thoroughly enjoyed her. Right. At our she did a yeah, at, at our event anyway. Good. So even if she could just do a brief clip on, you know, what she was explaining about how piece is not really whimsical what goes into it and then we can like okay. you said you could just put a little bit of biographical information and okay. call, call it a day okay but at least it's something okay sounds good i will i will get that together i just wanted to make sure that you guys knew what the situation yeah. and, was. and also just that it points out his stature 
was very lucky to have. Oh yeah, yeah. Of his, so I know you're a fan. So yeah, and I can put some of the text of his accomplishments on the screen. And maybe it's going to be you know some text and some voiceover and stuff like that. So right. I'll just have to script something a little more complex. Since I'm not yeah. seeing it out there and blogging constantly. Okay, okay. I'll, I will proceed with that and I'll get something before the end of the year. I just, it's uh, not been an um, ideal situation. We have her on the speaker though. Do you want do you want to try to get her to give her report first? Uh, sure. I want to thank her for her job. It yeah. sounds like reading the minutes that it was a okay. uh, extensive meeting. Uh, Shenley, do you want to try? See if we can hear you. There was resistance from the very beginning. And after, you know, I told them all of our reasons, um, you know, only one of the um, members would support us. Um, even my good friend, um, Aaron Brodinski, didn't support the change. And then I just felt like I needed to back down because our role is to support the community. And there was resistance for every, from every member. Um, there was a suggestion that we put it over at Three Bond Pond Park. And um, I haven't looked, but I didn't know if we had removed that sculpture that's falling apart. If perhaps we could put this crew series there. And then my question also is, you know, it's a donated piece of, um, piece of art. And I mean, it, is it really worthy of us pushing really hard on the community to move it to such a premier location. Um, so, you know, I gave him our suggestion, I gave him our reasons, and um, all of them didn't want it. So I feel like we need to go back to the drawing board and maybe propose putting it in Three Pond Park or keeping it where it is, but um, there's just too much resistance out there. What is the resistance? And who is resisting exactly? What's the resistance? And why do they say a reason? Um, okay, well, one, they don't like the piece. Um, two, um, I've heard there's a general consensus that um, the community doesn't like that we have so much art out there. Um, they seem to think that they like more traditional pieces, and they didn't even understand this crew series. Um, and also, they feel like the Mead Park um, needs maybe to have one significant sculpture like I told them that we've been fundraising for, you know, a, a, like Kendall said, a robust piece of art. It would be a permanent sculpture. So they felt like this was not even worthy. And um, they talked about the children would climb on it. And I said, that's okay with the artist. Um, I said that our consultant felt like it was a good place for the piece of art. And um, only half of them knew what the art was, but even the picture, it just, um, it, it didn't move them. I mean, it's, uh, you know, when I've looked at this artist's other pieces of work, I feel like this is maybe slightly inferior, so I have to agree with them that perhaps it's not appropriate to put it in the Mead Park. Okay, sorry, are we talking about city council? No, it's the Parks, yeah. Trails, and Recreation Commission. They have to approve any, okay. any sculpture in a park. So we start there, and then we go to City Council second. So I don't think it's their role to editorialize what art we select and what we accept. That's not their jurisdiction. Sorry, I'm going to back. Did you all just receive the survey in the mail? Um, then um, there's a lot of resistance to the art that we're putting out there. So, I mean, I, I feel like we don't want to push on this one um, and save it for the next, next piece of significant artwork we have. Um, but they wouldn't even approve, they, only one guy, because 
said that he would accept our proposal. You know, all the other seven members said absolutely not. This is the only chance to give it any vitality at all. I didn't say that. Well, it brought the place, don't you? I mean, I pushed really hard. I, I mean, I, I pushed, and um, the answer is still no. So. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm not totally surprised. I mean, are we 100 percent behind this piece of this, this series? I mean, I think Three Pond Park might be a great place for it, but it's something that you know kids will you know come upon and you know be curious as to where these pieces came from. Just as long as it's removed, because I just don't think it serves any purpose where it is now. It's just too much water there. Yeah, I I agree, but. I'm not sure that three bond folks are the correct place. That's pretty pretty native, pretty natural there for sure. I mean, it's, uh, I don't, I mean, I'm there daily, or through there at least, and I'm not sure, I mean, I think, I think we could maybe find a, a better place than three bond park that maybe isn't even in a park, maybe like over on, you know, Clarkson and Quincy. That area, uh, or uh, you know, I guess then right over here, you know, there's that little space that you can see from Quincy. That's mm -hmm. that's yes, it has trees. Anything tall, you're not going to see, but something low on the ground, maybe right over on the RTD side. Yeah, the RTD corner. Yeah, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. was that was mentioned at the meeting as well. So we yeah. sort of mentioned a few. And then we don't have to deal with parking trails or right. <laughs> If it's in if it's in the city right of way, then no. If no. it's in a park or on a trail, then yes. Okay. You would just have to get city council approval. All right. No. I love that. Yeah. Because if the city happy with them, then that like a little trail is wonderful, magical. Okay. Um, I'm having trouble hearing a lot of people. Um, I just um, so I guess I just want to say um, there's a lot of resistance out there so I, I wouldn't want to push really hard in this to be you know the hill that we die on right and you're talking about the specific pieces right the, the opinion of them on the specific pieces the aesthetics of the pieces i don't know if shelly heard me but that's that's what came across in the report so that is, Shelly makes an excellent point, that there's other things we have to fight for, so we have to decide. Like, I like, um, you know, I'm not, I like Evans pieces for sure. I prefer the one in the fireplace, that's just the, in front of the fire station. That's just my own personal opinion, because we all, of course, have our own personal opinions on pieces, but I think that Shelly makes a good point that we need to put a lot of consideration into, you know, how so strongly we want to fight for these particular pieces and where they go. I once saw a map where a cherry hills for there were available places for art. Maybe if we could see that map again some way, we could reassess some of these locations that we're not even aware of as possible. Well, they're, they're actually fairly limited. I mean, we've got we got Quincy on uh, Happy Canyon, we've got Quincy on Clarkson, and we've got here. And, these two areas, three areas now. Well, there were a few little spots that surprised me because you drive around so often and you don't think of that as a possibility that it's even available. But, um, yeah. But some of them, some of them that are on the map that say they're available are not there. <laughs> I think, I think you also have to consider how the, the, um, the piece is to be viewed. Right now, it's a piece that is viewed by people who are passing by in a car, and it's a very subtle piece, and it's the wrong place for it, but at this point, I don't see it going anywhere in a park. Right. So it has to go along a pathway. The reason why I recommended it going here is because it is subtle, like the big rock that they put in there, exactly. and nobody proved that. Mm -hmm. right. Just saying, it looks like a piece of art. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm just saying that this, this is a very subtle piece. It's probably going to go unrecognized, and it doesn't preclude you putting another piece in the, in the park. But 
it needs to be someplace, sorry, if I'm fogging up. <laughs> <laughs> it needs, and, and I'm, I am a little heated just because I feel like this is a classic example where you get something and it's, and it's put in front of a committee and they are giving a knee-jerk reaction. There's been no education about the piece. Emmett Culligan has given no kind of discussion about what the piece means. So people are reacting to it, and it's a contemporary piece. It's part of his older works of art. The piece you have at the fire department is a newer series. He's not working in that series. It's a donated piece. So there's a lot here at work. When you all accept donations, you have to consider this. This is something that you need to know not everybody's going to love the piece. You guys consider it, and, 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 and then you have to kind of figure out where it's going to go and, and kind of be moved and all that kind of stuff. It is totally your purview. Um, if you want to place it near another trail, I think that that would, could be an opportunity. But again, it's just something, I, it, it, it's true. Do you want to die on this hill? I don't know. Because Emmett's, they, we've already, already changed location twice. So Emmett's a little tired of it. <laughs> and he's sort of like, I think he liked this piece because it's a very central place in the community. And it was donated to the community. And it's kind of your call at this point. But um, if it stays where it is, he's fine. I think it's totally lost there. It's, it's really up to you. But if, it, if Parks has said no, I don't see any way around trying to find some place other that's in the right of way that works. One place is screaming for something that has some height to it. Above all those mechanicals that are there. Right now it just fits right into all the metal boxes. But I think this is in the right way right over here, right? This isn't part of the park, is it? Over next to RT? Right, uh, yeah, just right on the it, sh it should be the right of way. I don't believe it's part of the park. Yeah, so anything on the far side of the path closer to the road is right of way rather than park. So um, it would not uh, need to go to the Parks Commission. But it has to be on the north side between the path and the street. Can it be on the south side of the path right there where the, there's that, you know, there's a few trees there, but there's that little grass area right there. That I would need to check, which I can do quickly while we sit here. And then the only other thought on that is, if it's highly visible, which it will be, will will we get a lot of complaints? But that's again something you get uh, complaints and you face it and right. educate, 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 yeah. and get a video out and talk about the the series and what it means and why it was donated and what the artist was was thinking. I think most people with a tiny bit of of information feel better about it and it might not be their choice or their taste but um it's it's something that i i mean i would hope that it would die down after you know a few people that don't like contemporary art yeah i just don't want to move again like he says like well, this is you know yeah i mean i think the artists so. yeah i think if you find a place let's make sure it's the last time it moves <laughs> Okay, so so yeah, let's see if that's possible. What's that? She's checking if you're still on the side. Oh, right. We can do that too. And I would say option five is you do a session of these, and you decide that you don't want the piece anymore. And um, I don't know. I mean, that that's obviously would be one option, and I don't think it's the most desirable option, but it's it's something to consider. I personally love the piece, and I selfishly like it where it is because I can see it every day. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I get it doesn't have a breathing room. The desire of the for it. But it is. Yeah. I live on um, Quincy and Dahlia. Oh. And so whenever I'm going that way, east, I see it. Um, but I don't walk amongst it. 
We might have to come back to it. I think she must have had to pause for work, so I'm hoping that she'll come back to the, the call in a moment. <laughs> all the work that you went through and we'll definitely well, check it. We're going to have St. Mary's participate and make a complete statement with this land. So definitely we'll try again, but much earlier next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. We're down to two employees in the public works department, so two out of six. Um, we're just, there's a lot of turnover in that department right now, so they, they can't handle any other projects right now, but definitely something we can look into doing next year. Okay. 
when should we start? What should be a date we should start? Well, I gave them a week after school started. Yeah. I contacted them. As I said, the response on camp sharing was filled to an immediate. Yeah. St. Mary's um, did not respond to the art department, but I happened to be at a luncheon for the alumni, and I talked with one of the administrators, and they said that might give us more information to come back and really consider it. But then that was at the time then when the employees kind of withdrew from them. And so I don't think that we would be in touch again and we'll probably with their participation next year. Okay, so you let Kent and CHP know. They don't hesitate. So <laughs> they, they know that it's not happening? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. So it's off the table for this year. Yes. yes. Thank you for doing what you've done, and I think that keep it going in the future. Um, the water tower is there? Yeah. Yes. So we have about 16 pieces um, from the community, and then I think Boris and I are going to try and fill in spaces with our paintings to see if it kind of makes the shell look full and vibrant. and. Um, we're going to hang on the 28th on Thursday, I guess, what did you say, 10? 10, yeah. And then one of those things I help. I haven't done the system before, but it sounds like it's pretty easy. Probably. So, for us to be here, what time? 10. Anytime we're in City Hall, we're, we're asking everybody to wear masks, so we'll have masks during the reception. And we'll have some available if people come in without them. So if it's nice out, like today, could we take it outside and then be maskless, or do we have to? Well, if they want to come in to see the pieces, they'll have to wear their masks while they're here oh, viewing the pieces. Right. But yeah, yeah. The, the reception outside, we could put it on the patio yeah. and then they wouldn't have to. Yeah, yeah. We would just have to do the same thing with the um, signs for no alcohol beyond this point for the alcohol part of it. Oh, and when um, we were talking about making these little plaques for each painting, mm -hmm. um, are you guys, do you guys need help with yeah, that? Yeah, I'm still gathering information from everybody okay. as to, you know, the whether it's for sale or not, the location, the, I've got almost all the information. Okay, so you'll that. need that from me and from Boris, right? Mm-hmm, for yours, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. But when do you need it by Laura? Um, if we can get it by Friday, that would be helpful. Okay. Yeah. Because then that will give us time to start making them. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. And then Boris is going to pick the other winners by Friday. I have that on my list. He's going to do that. Yeah, he'll probably do it Thursday since okay. he'll, he'll be there. Sure. So. Um, 
is your son maybe going to play guitar still? Yeah, he, oh, you know, oh, yeah, he, he is actually, he said he would. So, um, just, you know, he'll be playing guitar again. Yeah. 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 We're trying to make sure we have the location so you so the commission can vote on the village award and it looks like we do. So and just to check Sarah, we we aren't gonna vote for your daughter's not not include I don't know if hers is in Cherry Hills Village, but hers is in Cherry Hills, yeah. Okay. So either don't, don't include um, well if you want to include it then I think you would have to recuse yourself from the voting, but we could include Sorry, I can't. If you want to include hers, I think you would have to recuse yourself from voting since it's your daughter. Okay, yeah. And so mine it's a will not be included in the voting for any of the awards. Okay. <laughs> do you want to put them up so they can vote? Well, are we including her too? Do you want to include Clara in the voting yes. award? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. 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 So we'll, we'll pull them up and put them on the screen, and then if you guys could tell us. I don't know how, if you want to do a verbal vote or if you want to write it down, um, what, what is the preference? Okay. Okay. I mean, the other option is to wait till the day of the event and then we can. Let's, let's wait till the day of the event so we can okay. see it framed and well, in, in person. Okay. Maybe we can also send them to Chris Moore to vote on, and Shelly can have a chance to get them. Sure. Yeah, if, if the commission comes just a few minutes early before the, the exhibit starts, then we can okay. have everybody vote and then yeah. okay. put the ribbon on then. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Yeah. Do you think we can actually send them out that day? Images of the pieces? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that big one. Yeah, we can do that. No, I had a typo in the memo. It says six thirty to seven, which would only be a half an hour. So <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught that typo just now. So yeah, um, it's oh, I think six to seven thirty. Six to seven. Does that sound right, Sarah? Yeah. Yeah, six to seven thirty. Make sure that you get a couple of couple good ones of each of them. Yeah. 
Yeah, everything, wide shots, close-ups, different angles, that kind of thing. Great. study session um, before City Council in October and in my presentation I did mention the additional $10,000 carryover. I did not receive any comments about that so I'll continue to, to include that in the budget as we go through the process. So the next um, the next date we'll have is November 16th. That'll be first reading and public hearing for the budget and then um, it'll go for second reading in, in December, December 8th. So assuming I don't get any questions or if you <laughs> or any feedback from city council i'll just continue to to put it in the budget okay we are making there's any other questions on the budget is there any other changes we did not make any changes no, right? from the last meeting no. yeah because there's the amount that we're going to reimburse um for that, so that it's just a right. So in the in the financials, I'll adjust that slightly. Um, once I find out what what the receipts are, I don't have that information yet. So yeah, that'll be updated on the financials in the next packet. Okay. Great. I don't, I don't know if this is the time to bring it up with you. Can all, you? But, um, sorry, can uh, Can you just touch? Oh, on? sorry. There we go. Thanks. I don't know if this is the appropriate time to bring it up with you all, but um, I have gotten very very busy um, I've been working with you all for about four years now and I am completely um, wondering if I could switch to a per project or something like that budget where if, if, if you guys wanted to zero out my line item and put it towards something else that would be feasible but if you want me to do this Ultron loan you know then we could work on just a per per project budget or something like that instead of you keeping me on retainer for for all these meetings and then i wouldn't have to attend all the meetings and, and you guys could just sort of use me as you need me as opposed to and then it makes it easy for me to schedule and, and do those kinds of things ahead of time so like if you need me to once you've decided on a, on a location for emmett's piece i can help put that together for you or if you do that it's just something to consider um I, I don't want to throw it <laughs> something into the and I don't want to look, look a gift horse in the mouth for sure but I just did, my time has become very very limited of late so just wanted to let you all know that okay um yeah you would you would make a lose you <laughs> no you wouldn't be losing me but you would just no, basically no. tell Laura like yeah. I need Kendall to do this and then yeah. I would give you a little a little budget for just that and then uh, you know I don't know if that needs to be a different type of contract or right. how that would work but um, it's just something to, to consider moving forward then you don't have to keep that line item in total for me it would be more like a, a sort of per, per project I don't think I even get close to this amount every year anyway so and we approve Kendall's contract annually, so if that's not something, if that's something that the commission would like to do, then we can make those adjustments to the professional services agreement that, that the commission approves in January. Okay. That's fine. I just want to make you guys sure that, that you know I've got you covered. I just yeah. wanted to make sure that you know that it's uh, a possibility if you need. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next item is the uh, commission goals. So this is just if if anyone has any changes, if you want to talk about it more, if you want to postpone the discussion, just wanted to bring this up again.
I still think uh, you know, the open studio thing in the future would really be really be nice. I think, uh, again, I know Evergreen has theirs. I think they're a role model for the open studio. And uh, it's very successful up there. I think it could be here, but it isn't. Uh, it wouldn't be a simple thing to establish, but once it was, I think it could be a, a great thing. And and, uh, and I think a, a financial benefit to the commission, certainly, if we get a percentage and whatever. But, uh, but there again, it's kind of, I don't know, the village is kind of quiet about those sorts of things. And I'm not, I think, I guess we would have to obviously start by uh, by uh, you know talking to all of the you know, others within the village to see if they are indeed on board with it. Yeah. You know, we don't get any any you know. So I yeah, think that's something that's we should be thinking about. Isn't there a list of all the artists in the Well. Well, we started one, but, yeah. but that's not all the artists. I, but again, I just think there, there's a lot of them out there, I, from what I understand. And I know I have a neighbor right next door, but you know, not in any doubt that she do a studio, open studio. But uh, I think there are more out there than we know of, and it's just somehow uh, oh, yeah. getting them, getting, <laughs> them, 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 them. getting them on board. the public then yes if it's open to the public yeah right if you do any kind of advertising to the public and alcohol is involved then you do oh, need to alcohol as well yeah yeah if you don't have alcohol then right. you wouldn't no permit yeah. no they didn't uh, you know traditionally they have they have little snacks and things uh, each each home uh, that but no no alcohol okay right. yeah um, yeah, if there's no alcohol, that significantly uh, simplifies the, the process. <laughs> yeah, we would need that. Yeah. yeah. So that's something we need to, I think, keep in mind. Should we, you know, like I can ask Duke if he'd be interested in something. Should we ask the artists that we know yeah. if they would be interested in something like that, just to kind of gauge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure. yeah. yeah. Sure. Can you Can we just send this page, this mm -hmm. one page? Yep. To us, and then we can. Yeah, can you just scroll down the page for a minute? There was also that gal I added recently. Oh, Clara Sex and Wheel. It looks like she had a good size studio. Probably Gay would definitely. Does Gay have a, have a studio? Maybe? Oh, I do not know. I mean, I don't know if she's around. I don't know if she. Uh, is it maybe an intimate one? I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, we might who used to be on our board. And she's got a beautiful studio, a whole building in itself. Uh, oh yeah, it's a gorgeous studio because she works very large. And uh, you can get her on board and some of those, yeah. Mm -hmm. So should we put it on the agenda next time? And maybe to the extent we know people on the mm -hmm. list, we can reach out and advance the meeting and then we can just carry on the conversation. Yeah. Maybe that's the spring thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, should I kind of finalize this version of the goals? Are you guys comfortable with that or bring it back? Uh, I, I could 
so I didn't see, I didn't see anything that I take off from it or add to it, I guess. Um, the work session after this meeting was, I think, was going to be focused on the annual events and fundraising. Um, which is included in here. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. No, it's, uh, maybe should we just put up finalizing it one more meeting and just have, see sure. if any more comes out of the work session and then we'll pay them back to show this aren't there and then we'll try and wrap it up next time. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Right, and I went back to look at you know emails and files, and I couldn't find anything on it, so I think it just got missed somehow. So, um, I put a recommended motion here on the screen. We're on a motion to uh, do the uh, name light for the uh, Ruby. So. I'll motion. Yeah, I'm going to say Second. Second. Okay. 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 Yes. Everyone in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, that passes. Thank you. this was something that the city had already owned 
usually if it's something like the piece that's going in John Reed, that would be something that, that the commissions would work on together mm -hmm. jointly as this is this is what we would like and you know get their feedback and then get location feedback and all of that so that would be a joint project but since this was something we already own mm -hmm. it was sort of out of order they weren't I think they were a little confused on why they weren't consulted previously they didn't realize that we own this piece mm -hmm. so um, I think that was a, a little bit of it and as um, Commissioner Smith said, they, they didn't care for it. They didn't care for the piece at all. So we tried to keep it in the context when we were at the meeting that it's only for PTRC, not necessarily to say whether they liked it or they didn't like it. It was just yes or no on it being in the park. Right. And that got a little um, sideways. So it, ultimately it was tabled so they could go look at the pieces themselves. Okay. And maybe some education goes around them looking at the piece. But I mean, personally, their opinion of the piece is inconsequential in my mind. Yeah. It's a, I care if they like it or not. It's, is it safe? Is it, you know, uh, can the, the, the landscape support, can it physically hold it up? That is where I think their say is absolutely important. Mm -hmm. But whether they like it or not, uh, and I, I would think maybe city council might be the ones to clarify that role. They were the ones that originally said if a piece goes in the park, the PTRC has to, has to have that recommendation power as well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if it's something that the commission feels strongly about, then maybe an email to city council, just advising them of your thoughts on this is what I think our role is, this is what PTRC's role is. Can you clarify? Okay. Um, so maybe an email to council to help all, all of us. So it, it sort of takes staff out of the middle so we're not being the, yeah. the, the middleman between the two commissions um, would probably be the next step. I wish they would have done some images. They were able to find a lot of images from their other questions. That, uh, that's not... Well, I think part of the concern might have been any image would be just one piece of art and there's so many different kinds and it's so subjective, I'd imagine. I wasn't really part of the question either. Mm -hmm. So historically, though, has there been re this resistance to other pieces or from the PTRC or, or no? Or just sort of this is the first time we've kind of had this issue? I'm trying to think. Dave, you went to PTRC for our commission, but I can't think of what it was for. I don't recall any in the past, but I. You know, the, the piece that was called in Three Pond Park, I was not on the commission then. Right, that was really how, early. How that worked. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be the only one, I think. But um, other than, yeah, I don't think there are. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think there's ever been anyone in, in, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. one of the parks. So, so if we wanted to push to have it moved and we want to put it in that location, Oh, maybe the and do we have to have a majority of the PTRC to agree to this? So you don't necessarily have to have PTRC approval. If PTRC denies the request or they vote against it, the next step would be to take it to city council, ultimately have city council decide, do they want it in the park or do they not want it in the park? We would have to let city council know that it was PTRC's recommendation to deny the request and then it's up to city council. Okay, and what would it say the reason why they're denying? I mean, we would probably include minutes, the minutes okay. with, from the meeting. So if it goes back before PTRC at the next meeting, mm -hmm. then they discuss it. Uh, if that's what the commission wants, we can take it back to them and um, then let them vote on whether for or against. We can take it to city council and we would, usually what we do is what we did for this packet is include the minutes so they can see kind of what the discussion was around it. I, I would recommend um, maybe putting together some sort of um, larger statement about the, the artwork itself in that just so that they understand that it's a donated piece and it's part of your collection anyway mm -hmm. right. and um and that they uh just just sort of the background on the piece so that it's you're not just sort of arbitrarily putting it out there and this is the first occasion they, they shouldn't be surprised we're coming to them for the price you know for the mm -hmm. process I think they thought that they were left out of a selection process, maybe, and that's I not believe the case. So. Yeah, until Commissioner Smith advised them that this was something that we already owned. It was in it was in the memo, but it might have been missed. But 
Yeah, I, I think they were. They weren't aware that this was something that we had. We already owned. I don't know if they thought maybe we bought it and they were left out of that process. Um, so she did. A, she did a great job. She she really answered all of their questions, and and I was pretty proud of her because it was it was <laughs> tense. It was it was tense to say the least. So she did a great job, but she did explain to them that it was a donated piece and it wasn't something that the city purchased. You, the commission thoughtfully looked at it and, and decided to accept it. So and she mentioned, you know, the, the commission doesn't just accept anything, that there's a there's a process for that and you thought that it was a great piece to add to the collection and which was why it was accepted. So I just have a technical question though about the PTRC. So for example the piece that we put in front of this building mm -hmm. they had no, no role in that, right? No. So I just want to make sure everybody on the commission is clear. Uh, some pieces no, they're not allowed to I'm just when it comes to being located in a park. If it, yeah, exactly. So, if it's technically. You know, they didn't have a, you know, a, their opinion wasn't sought or their permission wasn't requested to place the piece in front of this building or the art on loan piece and or possibly, you know, potentially Dave's recommendation for relocating crew pieces. That's going to be looked into, but it sounds like if it's in kind of like city right away property that's not a park property. So I think one of the reasons maybe that it hasn't come up a lot in the past is because maybe they were fine with the, the old piece that was in Three Pond Park, um, which was a, a wooded piece that sort of, it very much blended into the park. Yes. So yeah. hard to mm -hmm. not like it in my opinion, right. um, except when it's ready to decay so much that yeah. you know that yeah. needed to be removed. Um, so I think we just want to keep that clear in our minds that it's not like they always have a, you know, a, they're not involved in, in the, all the art choices. Just mm -hmm. the art location. Mm -hmm. not the, they're never involved in the art choice, and they're only involved in the location. And that has to be the part. Right. And um, just as a point, I mean, I think you guys should um, preamble if there, if your one of your goals is to select a permanent piece for John Mead, right. and I think that you should posit a selection process to them that includes them, but you have purview over it so include a couple of ptrc people in your committee that is on the selection committee but you ultimately are in charge of the cultural pieces assets of the city so um so i'm just saying like it's an edu educational um, piece for them too so any i would select a couple people that can go back to that committee and say hey we had this great selection process it was robust, we discussed everything, we, we, we decided on this piece, and then those people are trusted representatives who can then bring it to their committee and say, yeah, okay, good. As opposed to doing it, like as you say, doing it, I think having two separate committees yeah. <laughs> coming together is tough, but ultimately the artwork in this city is your purview. So PTRC should be able, if you're doing a permanent piece, they should be able to overturn what you decide, but you want to make sure you're keeping them included in that discussion yeah. all, the, all steps of the way. So, and I can help you devise a selection process that works so everybody agrees to it ahead of time and, and nobody's a surprise, you know, it's, it's a surprise to nobody and just kind of make sure that everybody feels brought along and heard. That's the major thing with public art. Mm -hmm. When people don't feel heard and they're surprised and you put a blue horse out at the airport and it was <laughs> under the cloak of darkness, <laughs> Everybody flips out. So, you know, just I think that this is something that just making sure that people know what you're doing mm -hmm. and aren't surprised, that goes a huge long way. Yeah. I agree. That would be great. Yeah. Yeah. And for the new members of the commission, too, kind of helped us with the process. Like she said, putting a process into place for the piece that we put in front of this building. Mm -hmm. So, yes, definitely. I <laughs> yeah. would like your help on that process when sure. we're sure. ready to establish it. Because I felt that that worked out well. Yeah, we had acceptance it should, and it should be hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's really not hard, and most people have fun doing it. I think it's just when you get people that are at cross purposes, and if people at PTRC think that the park serves for nature only, and and you all are trying to insert these found objects and these sort of pieces that create um, like resting places or places of wonder, and that's what the public art is doing in its place making. That sometimes can be a cross, cross purposes with people who believe it should be entirely natural. natural. Yeah. 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 yeah, I agree. Uh, it's a common problem in parks. 